Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to dump App Store application uh, decrypt uh, App Store applications from your iPhone uh, to your system and use the uh, use the decrypted application in order to use it for reverse engineering. So, if you have uh, tried to do this process previously on uh, iOS version seven to version nine. So you might be uh, familiar with using uh, Sitecrypt or uh, dump pegs. So those applications do not work on the latest version of iOS. Or if they do work, they, uh, the IPA file that they generate, uh, it is corrupted or it is not fully decrypted. So uh, in, this, uh, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at a latest technique uh, that is uh, being used to decrypt those applications into a decrypted IPA file using Frida. So uh, this process uses Frida hooks in uh, hooks to open up the application, and when the uh, applications open up and run on the iPhone, what happens is it. Uh, decrypts on in decrypts on runtime and after decryption it opens up that application and the application performs its functionality and the Frida uses that time frame when the application opens uh, in order to uh, get the decrypted uh, list of all the functions of that application and dump it down into an IPA file so in this video we are going to be using uh, this application called Fuse. It is a, a relatively new application and it is still in alpha testing. Uh, you can download that. You can download that uh, application from uh, this uh, this link, getfuse.app, and I will also be uh, giving this link down in the description so you can download uh, this app from the link over here. And once you have downloaded the app, just drag and drop. Uh, drag and drop that dot uh, app file in the applications folder and you will need to install these two dependencies uh, using brew and once you are done with that uh, you are ready to use that application and I have opened up that application and how how to download the decrypted file uh, decrypted IPA from that application is just select the application and click on decrypt and once you click on decrypt it is going to open the ad application on your iphone and it is going to take a few minutes and after that it will dump the ipa file on your system so i will be back once that process is done so the uh, fuse app was done uh, uh, decrypting the ipa file and now it is giving us option to be uh, to where store the IPA file, so I am going to be storing that IPA file on to desktop. So just save over here, and as you can see, the IPA file is uh, decrypted and stored on the desktop. So I am going to be moving it to a new folder. And just go ahead and rename the file dot ipa file to dot zip file i'm going to unzip it right now and you, you will see a, a payload folder so go into the payload folder and on the uh, right click on the dot app file and click on show package contents and over here you can see all the app, uh, static app, uh, static files that are required by the application and also all the libraries that uh, this application is using and there is the there is also the binary uh, file of this application that you can use uh, for reverse engineering so just let me search for that So this is the binary file so in order to open the binary file uh, i will be using hopper decompiler
and just drag and drop the binary file into the hopper and it will automatically uh, identify the architecture and the language that it's uh, that this application is coded in and just click ok and it will load uh, all the classes and all the list of functions uh, functions that it can find in that application so as you can see that all the functions are readable and they are decrypt in the decrypted form and now you can go ahead and start uh, reverse engineering this application and see uh, what you can find what different vulnerabilities that uh, that are there in the application and start reverse engineering the application so that's it for this video and do subscribe to our channel if you have any questions do comment down below and thanks for watching